The DRDO has successfully tested the 30 km range indigenously developed quick reaction surface to air defense system today with live payload, and it targeted the Banshee target drone with high precision. The last test was conducted on 13 November, which proved the radar and missile capabilities, while today's test demonstrated its performance with live payload on proximity detection. After receiving the 1,325 crore rupees contract from the Indian Army for the development and supply of auxiliary power units for T-72 and T-90 tanks, the Indian Army has now awarded a 2,300 crore rupees contract to the private sector firm Oshokop Global Private Limited for 125 mm armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot ammunition. Officials have said that initially the company will develop 500 rounds for T-72 and T-90 tanks for trial and approval, and then the private sector company will subsequently produce 85,000 rounds of ammunition. Oshokop is a recipient of multiple defense industrial licenses from the Indian government for manufacturing restricted and sensitive defense systems, and apart from catering to the needs of the Indian armed forces, the company will also offer its products to the countries using the Russian T-72 and T-90 tanks. U.S. defense contractor Textron Systems has unveiled two versions of the new Squad 6.8mm automatic rifle developed for the U.S. Army last week. Textron and the DRDO had earlier discussed a possible collaboration on the development of next-generation 6.8mm cartridge under in the U.S. Defense Technology and Trade Initiative, as the Indian Army had rejected all the three prototypes of the DRDO-developed multi-caliber individual rifle in 2014, which could use 5.56mm, 7.62mm and 6.8mm special-purpose cartridge just by changing the barrel and magazine, as 6.8mm rounds were not used by many armies around the world. With the U.S. Army now switching to 6.8mm rounds, a new DRDO-developed 6.8mm rifle prototype is now expected to start trials with the Indian Army. The soldiers can carry more ammunition as the 6.8mm rounds are lighter than the 7.62mm rounds, and a longer range and greater power than the 5.56mm rounds. The Indian Navy is all set to receive one P-8 maritime patrol aircraft by the end of this month, while the remaining three will be delivered in 2021. The configuration of the new aircraft will be of the same configuration as the previous eight aircraft that are already operational in the Indian Navy, but will be equipped with encrypted communication systems to share real-time operational intelligence with the US Navy. It will be equipped with the top-performing maritime surveillance radar APS-143, magnetic anomaly detector to detect enemy submarines, as well as Harpoon Block II missiles and Mark 54 lightweight torpedoes. The P-8I aircraft are data-linked with Indian submarines, which enables sharing of all critical information about the enemy vessels. After eight years of discussions, China and 14 other countries including Japan and New Zealand have formally signed one of the world's largest regional free trade agreements, which is designed by China to counter the US influence in the region. The Indian government has already pulled out of the negotiations for the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, as it would result in a flood of Chinese manufactured goods in India. Meanwhile, the prospect of China's forging close economic ties with its neighbors has prompted serious concern in the US. Oh,